That was pretty good. I'm trying to think I know the answer, but have you ever wondered about range balls? And do they go as far as a Pro V1 or a standard premium golf ball, or for that matter, any golf ball? Well, in this video, I'm going to have a look. I'm going to hit a few shots with a Pro V1, with a tailor-made practice ball from a range, uh, from another range's golf ball, this is just called a range ball, and a Shrixen range ball. For this, you're going to be able to answer how bad are range balls, I suppose, or how good are range balls, and what does it do in terms of shot and the shape and all that sort of stuff. I'm just going to hit 7 iron and see what happens with all this. I think there'll be some interesting numbers and um, potentially a surprise at the end with this tailor-made one, but let's have a look. So I'm just going to go 7 iron. This is a bit of a beefed up 7 iron that I'm trying. It's a, uh, a Callaway Epic Forge. You can't buy them anymore, new that is, but um, I managed to get a brand new kind of X demo one. I normally hit 7 iron around 190, so I would expect this to go a little bit further because it's you know, a D lofted mega, mega beast. I hate it when you don't set it on this. I've just hit some good shots there and it's not been recording it. What a turkey! Try again. Start the Pro V1. Nice green one so we can differentiate. Oh, absolute slap to start with. But it's gone all right. Ha! A slap that's gone over 200 yards. There we go. Yep, yeah, drop kick that, no spin. That's what I like in this club because, goodness me, it's easy to hit. That's the shot. Oh, that's gone high. Wow. Not bad. No, not much spin though, is there? Very interesting. Yeah, that wasn't a great shot. That was pretty good. Just dead on the spin though, this club. That wasn't too bad. Okay, so that's Pro V1. You can see it's kind of going about 210. Okay, so range ball A. This is the Shrixen. I'm calling it range ball A. Let's see if this can get out to 200 yards. I'm thinking not, but let's see. Oh, stand corrected. Oh, that was a very good strike. Yep. Hey, I like these friction range balls. Okay. It's, it's kind of co comparable to a Pro V1, I would say. Oh, that was a bad strike. At least it's not gone left. That's what I'm working on, not going left. Okay. Range ball B. I think this is a one-piece one. It, they look pretty rough. They don't feel great, so... Let's see. What this one does. Yeah, okay. I mean, the low spin on that's managed to get the scamper up there, but that pitched quite a lot lower in terms of distance to the, to the green. That's interesting. That's a good strike. Just, it's not going anywhere, though. Anywhere near as far. Okay. That's what I suspected. It's gone further than I thought. But this ball, you can just you can just see almost the squidginess. It's very, I'd say, low compression. And uh, I'm not going to put it in my mouth because it's dirty, but 
it's, yeah, it doesn't feel very right. Okay, so this is what I'm excited about, tailor-made range ball. Certain ranges around the country in the UK have got these nice tailor-made range balls, and I think they're the same as Pro V1s in terms of performance, spin, and all that sort of stuff, distance. But let's, let's see, shall we? Really interesting. Okay, where's that going? Yeah, it's getting there. Well, okay, yep. Try and put a good swing on it would be nice for the ball. Yeah, spin's all right. Almost a carbon copy of the same shot. Wasn't the best of strikes. Turn through it. Got a ten through it. Heavy, but okay. About all that. That was a better shot. There we go. Pro V1, we're getting an average of 126 mile an hour ball speed, launching nice at 20. The spin was really low though. I mean, like I said, that's 7 iron. Don't be too upset about that and start putting in the comments, oh, I can't spin the ball. There's no point having that ball if it doesn't spin. Now, I get that. The 7 iron was like a 6 or a 5 iron. It's 26 or 27 degrees. So my normal 7 iron, I think, is 30 and a half. So it's like playing. You, you would expect it's a 5 iron around four or five thousand spin so that's not too bad the pro v1 for that that's what i'd expect so it's 594 we just do carry really because that's probably fairer i would say normally my carry of my seven iron is about 185 that's more lofted so oh sorry de lofted so yeah that's that is what it is so pro v1 so if we go to the shricks and range ball then range ball a 128 mile an hour ball speed i'm quite impressed with that um launching about the same but spinning a bit more on average, like there's a bit of a fluctuation there, but spinning on average the same, the carry was about the same. So that's really interesting. I wasn't, I don't know, I, I kind of thought it might be about the same because it looks all right as a ball, but it feels all right as a ball. Um, interesting, it's a bit faster. I actually quite like that ball. Good, good for a range ball. And then range ball, lovely spelling of range there. Range ball, range ball B. This is the one that looks dodgy, it feels dodgy. You hit it, it doesn't feel great either. You can see the drop in ball speed. It's 124 miles an hour, launching the lowest of all of them, uh, but spinning the highest, which kind of makes sense. It's a spinnier ball. I think it's lower compression. I think it's just maybe a one piece ball. I would need to confirm that. Sorry, I don't have that, that fact, factual information there. But I'm quite surprised because I did say I was going to be surprised by this data. That's carried further than I thought. I thought it was going to be carrying around 160. Again, I've seen them fly before. They always look like they're dropping out at 160-ish. So it's actually got some decent distance for that. Maybe I'm a bit confused by the fact I'm using a stronger lofted 7 iron. So be maybe with my normal 7 iron, maybe it would have been kind of 165, which is more what I was thinking. But yeah, there's quite a significant drop off of that. And then lastly, the tailor-made range ball. Um, 125 ball speed, so comparable to the Pro V1 at the top um launching 18 so not too bad kind of in the in the middle there of those spinning a decent amount and carrying 187 which was the the second shortest but to be fair i wasn't hitting it annoyingly i wasn't swinging or hitting it as well as the other ones so yeah i think that's really interesting really not what i was expecting i thought this one would be closer to the pro v1 it is in ball speed but in terms of I guess in terms of spin it is as well, there's quite a dispersion, a variance in that 4633. Um, and if you go five either side, five on 187, that makes it 192, if I can do math properly. And if you take five off the 194, that makes it 189. So I think they are very comparable and you can feel it and you can see it in the finish on them. So what can we learn from this? What was the point of this video? Well, I'll go back to the beginning. 
how bad are range balls? Well, it really depends. If you've got a dodgy range ball, well, it's not dodgy, it's just a lower compression one. It's designed for a range that's only 250 yards long. They put them on there on purpose. If you've got a range ball like that, it's not going to fly as far. It's probably going to spin more. So you're not going to necessarily see the same spin characteristics. Before anyone worries, like I, I'm not going to talk about dispersion, although dispersion was relatively similar, the flight flights were relatively similar. That's not what this test is about. It was about the ball speed. It was about the spin. It was about the carry and what that looks like to you out on the range. So now I at least know for the kind of the ranges that I go to and practice around me, it might be worth you considering it when you go to a range. If you hit a really good shot or what you think is a good shot, but it goes nowhere, this is almost definitely the reason. If you've got one of these balls, it's going to go shorter. If you've got a more premium ball, certainly one of the tailor-made ones, then you can be fairly happy that it's in line with what you would see with a Pro V1 or another premium ball or something that you'd use on the course. So just be aware of it. It can make a really big difference. And yeah, you might decide that these golf balls are bad. Let me know in the comments what kind of range balls have you experienced and have you seen a massive drop off and wondered why and now you've kind of realised why that is. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you again.